Hello, creatures of the virtual world and the internet. I'm here uh, on a shopping mall. I uh, just came for some fruit. And I just remember a very important issue, which is newbies and being patient with newbies. Okay? So, what is this all about? Well, this is a, this is a request. It's an appeal that I do to every Second Life experienced user to be patient with newbies because we all started somehow People usually are very suspicious when they see someone that has only two weeks uh, or one week or two days of life as an avatar uh, on the profile uh, as an avatar. So they say either the, this guy is just a troll or a bully that keeps doing alts, which means second accounts to keep going and bullying people after getting banned and ejected and all that stuff. Uh, but every single Second Life user started one day. We all had one day of life, one week of life, three weeks of life. I remember the first time somebody told me about Second Life in 2006, 2007. I remember that I was really excited about the idea. I went home and I logged in, created the account, avatar, logged in. And when I have never tried anything like that before, and what I did was really depressing. I was just walking. I don't remember where the hell I landed. There was no one there. There were buildings and roads and cars. I was just walking around, touching stuff, right-clicking stuff, trying to ride cars and open doors of the buildings and windows. Uh, I right-click cars and, and then saw it uh, right. Okay, click on right. Right-click, right. And no, this car belongs to the owner. Um, so... It was very depressing, and I didn't find anyone, and, and I thought Second Life was only that, that kind of buildings, so I gave up. And I stayed at like three, four months without going there. Just, it was just a simple experiment, nothing special. I didn't pay much attention to Second Life. The second time, I don't remember exactly why the second time I really went there, maybe I saw some news about it or whatever. I went there, and I saw there's a search button here, and I started searching for beach, stores, uh, paradise, uh, uh, fantasy lands, I started popping up, uh, meeting people, developing, then I got enthousi enthusiastic because I found some stuff which was a replica from Portugal, Lisbon, I, I met people from Lisbon that were doing replicas of Lisbon, they saw me doing a replica of a part of Lisbon, they invited me to a bigger project, I met people, blah 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 blah, and all got really like a, a snowball effect. But, we all started some time. And that newbie that I was on the first day, on the second, on the third, on the first week, I was not aware that I was even touching people, right-clicking on people, uh, going in places I should not go, uh, touching doors. No, nobody had a reference before. Nobody that entered that world had any mentorship to tell him, don't go into private homes. What the hell is a private home? Are there private homes in Second Life? People don't know that. So a newbie, and we all know how hard Second Life is, when people are trying it alone without having first some mentorship and some help. Sometimes they ha have a hard time with, with a viewer already. So what I'm appealing here, what I'm requesting here, is for you to be patient. And when you see someone that has one day, one week of life, and when you see that they are touching you, right-clicking on you, they, they touch your door, they got into your home, don't think they are already trolling. Sometimes they are just newbies. They, they, they don't even know there are private homes, okay? They are just trying to interact because they, 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 they heard Second Life is interactive, is a virtual world, and they're trying to find out what the hell is going on. Uh, they didn't have anyone to help them and teach them the basics and what to do and what to avoid to do. So, uh, of course, of course, if you say to some newbie or if you tell them, please don't go inside, this is my house, blah, 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 and they keep being stupid, then fucking eject them, fucking ban them. Then, then yes, but give them a chance, okay? Just like, try to imagine when you first got into Second Life. Maybe you were lucky, you, you were with friends that teach you many things, but probably not. Many people just went by our own. So, what I'm asking is just give a chance or give a second chance when you see somebody inside your house trying to ride your horse or your car, popping up in your land, uh, trying to touch you, or maybe they have lag and they bump on you, give them at least a second chance. Talk to them, explain them things. If a person is a good person and is polite, 
they will understand and they will get a hold of it as long as you explain them. If they keep being stupid and rude, and if they are really there to troll them, they then bloody make them their living hell out of your lands, okay? Thank you so much, and let's all help everyone to get the best of Second Life. Thank you.